So, hey loves, uh, it's your girl, Ash is the Rebirth. Um, so I know I've been flooding your timelines, um, your news feeds with crystals, 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 crystals everywhere, right? So you're probably wondering, what's the deal with these crystals, you know? How and, and why would I even want, need them, right? So here's what a crystal is, real quick, just a quick bit of what a crystal is. Think of a crystal as a portal, right? I have this citrine around my neck. Um, this, the crystals, their healing attributes is what I'm speaking of. Their healing abilities, right? Not the, not the jewelry aspect of it, but the healing crystal themselves, right? So crystals are the portals, okay? So this is a portal. The intention that I set, okay, gives the crystal the direction, okay? And then the crystal is the portal, right? Because we're here, physical realm. But then there's a higher self, that dwells within ourselves, spirit, God, creator, whatever it is that resonates as you, as far as words to represent what that essence is to you, okay? So that's what crystals are. So crystals, crystals follow our intent. They are the portals into the next realm, right? Um, on our behalf. So the purpose of them, they align, they block, they offer, you know, healing in various ways, physically, psychologically, um, your emotions, okay? Um, and then also spiritually, your heightened self, um, your inner self. So that's crystal. So what does all that mean for and to you, <laughs> okay? Uh, if crystals are new to you, what does, what does that mean for and to you, right? One, we all have trauma, okay? Two, we all no pain. It doesn't matter your background, who you are, where you come from, none of that. We all have trauma, number one. We all know pain, number two. But number three, we, we all want serenity, right? We all want that peace, right? We want to bask in peace, not peace, but on alert that something is soon to come, but really dwelling in serenity, right? Knowing what that really means. And fourth, we all need and want healing, right? So when we need and want healing, healing, we must understand, is equal to love. Here's healing, here's love, okay? They are one in the same, okay? <laughs> they are one in the same. One move, the other move, right? They're one in the same. This is love, and guess what? This is also healing, right? That is the flow of it, okay? Um, so through my collective journey, I've accumulated 10 years of just inner work, not before the people, nothing, no formal, anything, literally your inner workings, right? That's, that's, that's healing's journey. So I've accumulated about 10 years as of now, right? Inner work in the healing process and my modalities, okay? Tools, if you will, that are given to me to use in this realm is writing, okay? And the writing is because it acknowledges. That's for those of you that know me as a poet, right? Um, or know me as a person. I write, write, not just poetry, but I write. I need it as a connector for me. But writing acknowledges a thing. That's a tool, a modality that's been given to me to use, right? For healing purposes. Speaking would be the next level. Then, you know, I, I went from writing to now speak it. Why? Because speaking is the acknowledged thing now manifested. That's the importance of you speaking. But further than just the speaking, what comes out when you're speaking, your prana, the life source, what houses, right? The breath, which is spirit, right? That's in your breath. So speaking it is yet. So with your, right, with your writing being the acknowledger, and the speaking being the manifester of a thing, the prana, the life source, the breath. The breath is spirit. Your breath is your spirit, your inner self, your higher self, you know? It is, it is what creates the God consciousness for you, that essence, okay? And so the breath is the connector, right? From this realm to the higher self, whatever spiritual realm or higher self resonates to you, whatever vocabulary word you use for it, right? It's still the prana, the breath, is the one thing from both realms that goes back and forth consistently. 
That is why it's important to recognize and get in tune with the rhythm of your own breath, your own breathing, your life source. It is you, you must know it. That is it. And then of course, the crystals, right? The crystals are the portals for all of this working to go on, right? For me to offer and for me to receive, right? And I'm not sure if that looks backwards for you guys, but to offer is right hand and to receive is your left hand, okay? So to offer and to receive. So those are the modalities, the tools that I've been given. So about three years ago, I began the great awakening, <laughs> okay? Or, or whatever, you know, people will call it, okay? But for sake of using a word that most have heard, like the awakening, you know, coming into your spirituality um, and, and intuitively and, and instinctively, um, I was working in alternative healing three years ago, actually. Um, but I grew up, lived, literally existed um, silently or like under the guise of joy. You know how we pretend like we're, we're super happy. And then when things hit my rock bottom, we all have our own rock bottoms. I began realizing that even if healing, wholeness, retreat of, of any kind was availed to me in those moments, I would have rejected it anyway. You're hurt and wounded, you have trouble trusting. So you would have trouble accepting it anyway. So I felt inside myself wounded, right? Inside of me is also where I found my breath, the spirit, right? That's where the spirit dwells. That is us inside, mine and yours, right? And it was somewhere in between like this ignorance and heartache, tears and all these misconceptions around fear that, that my breath was like finally acknowledged. It was allowing true freedom in exhaling to, to occur for me. And by exhale, I mean weep and cry and moan. I'm talking like the ugly cries, like the think that it's all good for a moment to crushed again, misunderstood, like everything, shit's exploding everywhere, just forced to remember. That's what I mean when I say in 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 allowing uh, true freedom in exhaling to surface, right? Healing takes you all the way back to the foundation of that thing, your origin, right? Because we all need a level ground, a foundation to begin on. We gotta go all the way back, cleanse it, recharge from there. And a lot of us are not too willing to go there, okay? So we steer clear from the spiritual realm because it opens you. It shows you how large and grand and wonderful you really are. And although we all think that we're grasping all these different things, we've got to go inside first, heal, and then we can come out. So that's what I mean. So by the exhale, that's what I mean. Like all of those things that resurface when you go to the root of an issue, because you have to go there in order to heal, because love's got to go through there and pierce through there and heal that, right? But you reject everything because you're not used to it. And true, pure love comes in abundance. So sometimes it comes and it makes us more fearful than what you would think because we all think we want it to usher uh, into us. But when we're healing, we deal with the purity of it differently because people give it a lot of times in abundance falsely because we're all just trying to heal. So that's what I mean by the exhale. So you're forced to remember yourself, your origin, um, because that's where love begins, right? So the essence of who I am and who you are right? It's locked within, right? You're breathing, your meditation, right? Um, so creation has bestowed upon us these healing crystals, right? How blessed are we? Um, and there's so many different modalities and tools and ways that people access the spirit. Everybody has their own uh, path, right? This is, this is mine, right? But we can all benefit from it, right? So creations bestowed these great healing crystals upon us for more than reasons of just wearing them and adorning them as pretty pieces of, of jewelry, some trinket, right? Uh, more importantly, we have these crystals because they act as portals for us, right? Portals so that we're able to access the whole of us and heal so that we can go out and heal, right? Um, restore and recover, align and balance. That is the nature 
of, of, of life in all realms, really. So all of that to say this, if you are new to crystals, okay, here's, here's an offer that Ashes and Crystals um, is putting out right now um, for all new clients, okay, and all those that refer clients. If you are new and you have um, no real knowledge of crystals or what they're about, or at least the healing abilities, but you are interested, um, all you have to do in the comments is text or type in the comments intro intro okay and this will give you a live 30 minute q a with moi and you can ask whatever you like about crystals whatever you want to ask about the healing abilities whatever you want to ask about my business and what crystals that we offer and what um healing um crystals uh we have in sessions whatever knowledge you want to know 30 minutes live q a all you have to do is type intro into the comments if you're into crystals and if you would you already know that yes this is someone that i want to sit and have a private one-on-one -on -one session with i do have those all you have to do for a for a 15 to 20 minute free sharing call that means i'm giving you a free sharing call for 15 to 20 minutes with myself okay about um you wanting a session and what that entails and information uh, further information about um, crystal meditation and about um, healing sessions that I also have and about um, healing oracle card readings um, and things of that nature so crystal healing and you're brand new to it and you want to know about it and you want to be in on a live Q&A for 30 minutes to ask anything dealing with the healing and crystals and about myself and about the business text intro I am ready if text I am ready type I am ready phone too much type I am ready if um, you you know for sure that you want to have a one-on-one -on -one, you, you want to delve a little deeper into the healing abilities of crystals mind you this is physical this is psychological your emotions your mental um, and this is also spiritual so wherever you are and whatever plane you see yourself existing on right um, you can be fed, edified, healed, that is loved. Um, so I love you all. Um, healing is that, um, it becomes you, you are it, it is you, right? So I will end by saying, type intro or I am ready, depending on your preference. The I am ready is for those who want a 15 to 20 uh, minute free sharing call with myself about um, getting a kind of a, um, intake if you will of exactly what it is um we can set up what you're interested in um and then we can um, act accordingly from there okay so share like if you have not liked my page ashes and crystals please do so now like this share this and type intro i am ready whichever one you like